again, a tad more difficult, but really the same principle. What am I doing? I have two roots. I have two factors. Let's write that down. Well, 2a minus 5 is a root. x minus that is a factor. If 3a plus 4 is a root, x minus that is a factor. All right, let me point out where this is written for you. This is right here. Now, of course, someone says, what do you have to do with that? They want you to multiply it together. All right, let's see if we can do that. And again, I know it seems like a lot of busy work, but it's practice, it's exercise. You get x squared minus 3ax. I'm distributing the x, by the way, minus 4x. Now let's do this. What are you going to get? Minus 2ax. Let's see, then what do you get? You're going to get plus 6a squared plus 8a. Do the 5 now. What do you get? Plus 5x. Let's see, then you can get minus 15a, and then minus 20, and this equals 0. Combine everything together, what do you get? x squared minus 5ax plus x. Uh, I'm going to put the, um, let's see what we get now, plus 6a squared minus 7a minus 20 equals 0. And I want to write this like so it looks quadratic in form. So x squared, I'm going to write it as 1 minus 5a times x. These Those two terms are over there. And then you got this constant term. And I'll put in parentheses for you. 6a squared minus 7a minus 20. Let's get a red pen out. And I want to see if I've got it matched up. You know what? I forgot to put a sign in between here. Put it now. Let's see. Did I get it? x squared, 1 minus 5ax. Let's see, 6a squared minus 7a minus 20. Looking good. All right? All right. Thank you.